Hi everyone, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanna show you a volumizing curly hair routine. Okay, so the last time I made a styling routine video, it was for curl definition. And I think by now you guys know that I am always aiming for curl definition, no volume, and it's all just about this definition. This is a really old wash and go, so of course it's like really frizzy and stuff by now. That's just been my thing. And I'm deciding today, I wanna switch it up. I wanna be one of these voluminous, big head girlies. But this video is kindly being sponsored by Boucleum. They are a UK-based curly hair brand. They're actually a black female-led business, and they really understand curly hair, so they know that it's beautiful, but it does need extra care. So that's why they take extra care with their ingredients. All of their products are packed full of plant extracts, sumptuous scents, they never have any sulfates, no heavy silicones or mineral oils. They also care about the planet, so when they are choosing ingredients, they choose fair trade, sustainable ingredients wherever they can. They use recycled plastic in their bottles, and they test their products on real curls, never animals. They have a huge range of curly hair products because they know that there are a million types of curly hair, and everyone has a different goal and tastes for their curly hair care. So here's what I have. I have the Curl Cleanser. This is a zero foam formula for maximum hydration. So that's definitely not gonna strip your hair and it will leave your hair moisturized. I also have the Hydrating Hair Cleanser. So this one has a gentle lather. It's great if you are somebody who co-washes your hair but you're looking for a bit of a deeper cleanse. So it cleanses your hair without upsetting the moisture balance. I also have the Curl Conditioner. So this is ultra moisturizing, leaves your hair feeling super hydrated. I also have the Curl Cream. So this is a super nourishing and moisturizing leave-in curl cream. This is going to help to create shiny, defined curls. I also have their Super Hold Styler. So this is for ultimate definition and holding power. And I have the Curl Defining Gel. So this is for medium hold and frizz control. And I have the Revive 5 Hair Oil. So this is great for moisture retention, heat protection, scalp hydration, a little bit of an all-rounder over here. So like I said, today Today, my goal is volumizing. I'm gonna be trying to get those big, fluffy, voluminous curls today. You hardly ever see it on me. Keep your fingers crossed for me. So that's why I'm trying a new product from Buclem, which is their super volumizing foam. So I should point out that this is a foam, not a mousse. Mousses tend to be a lot denser, whereas a foam like this is more lightweight and it's better for volume. So this is designed to be volumizing and to have a strong hold. So I'm really excited to try that out. I just wanna show you how my hair looks before. This has kind of been my go-to style for a while, like years, I think. I always just have my hair like flat. I will show you actually, I'll show you day one of this routine actually. Let's keep it fair. I'll show you day one of this routine and we'll compare that to the end results of this routine. How about that? Okay, so if you're ready and I'm ready, I'm gonna start washing my hair. So the first step is to just get my hair soaking wet. Let's go. I'm gonna take the Hydrating Curl Cleanser. So this is the one that actually does have a little bit of lather. And the reason I'm doing that is because I just wanna have a full good cleanse. I used a lot of heavy products in my last routine and I just don't want there to be any trace of them whatsoever because I think those are definitely gonna keep weighing my hair down. And I'm just trying to get like the most voluminous hair in this routine. So that's gonna go onto my roots first of all. And I usually grab a little bit more onto the sides here. I'm gonna take more product and apply it through the rest of my hair because sometimes if I'm using a product that like makes a huge lather and really just like expands, I can get away with just using a small amount because it would just spread all through the rest of my hair. But where this one is not gonna lather up and foam up, I'm gonna use a bit more. So now I'm gonna rinse this out. So I'm gonna do that again. It's gonna lather up so much more and to me that's a sign that my hair is clean now and the lather can actually get to work instead of being like inhibited by all of the other products I had on my hair. Okay, so let's separate my hair a little bit, just in half and I'm gonna apply some conditioner. So this is for ultra moisture. Scrunch that in, squelch it in. It's more of a squelch than a scrunch. Thank you. 
Okay, so I actually just want to leave that sitting on my hair for like another 10 minutes just to get like a super nourishment out of it. It does actually say you can use this as a leave-in, so you could just fully just leave this in if you wanted to. But for me, I'm just going to use it as it's like a mask or something. Okay, so that has been sitting on my hair now for a while. So I'm going to rinse it off and then we can start with the styling routine. I am actually gonna start off with their curl cream just for like a little bit of leave-in nourishment. I think I'm only gonna use like a little bit because I really don't wanna weigh my hair down too much. So first things first, I'm gonna separate my hair to make sure that this is gonna be evenly distributed. So I'm just gonna clip this here. Up it goes. I gotta get rid of my gel nail. Can't believe it. You know guys, I do my own gel nails and I end up having to do it like once a week because like whenever I wash my hair, that's when it kind of starts to come up. So I lost one. I don't know. Losing one is not too bad. Like, I'm doing okay. Just brush this out with the tangle teaser. I'm just gonna use one and a half. That's two, and I feel like that's too much. I'm gonna use that on both sides here. Okay, next I'm gonna use the super volumizing foam. So I'm gonna give it a little shake first of all. So I think I'm gonna do two pumps, which looks like this on each section that's kind of like this big. So this is only like a really small section of hair. Ooh, that smells nice. Nice. Just literally just brushing it through. But I think next, for the next section, I'm gonna use the demo brush after the curl cream before the foam because I don't like the feeling right now of running my brush through this. And then I do also just want a little bit of gel and I'm gonna use the lighter hold gel. So I'm gonna use the curl defining gel, not the super hold styler. So this one has a medium hold and it controls frizz and gives curl definition. Just like a little bit like that. I'm just gonna focus that really on the ends of my hair. Okay, so for this section again, I'm just gonna brush it out, make sure it's neat and detangled so that my products can go on through it smoothly. I'm gonna do my two little pumps of the curl cream that much. I'm gonna get that all through, especially down at the ends where it needs that extra nourishment. So over here, make sure I get that on this back pieces. And like I said, I'm just gonna quickly run through through with the demo brush. Not do too much here because I'm really focusing on volume in this routine and not definition. And then super volumizing foam. I'm gonna do two pumps again. It smells so fresh. Okay, with this, I'm just gonna like scrunch that into my hair. So let's get another two pumps. Ooh, and squeeze that into this side. And then a tiny bit of gel. More towards the ends again. Next section, I'm gonna brush it out, brush it down. First up, I'm using the curl cream. I'm gonna do two little pumps like this, maybe a bit more, because it's the top layer. And I want it to look perfect. Most of my face here, I get a lot of dryness down at the ends down here. And I think it's because this is always kind of like my test section. Whenever I'm like testing a heat tool, I'm always like, hmm. And I like go in hard on these sections. And I think it's just led to a bit of dryness and damage there. So I always put more curl cream. Okay, that's my curl cream done. A little bit of the curl training with the demo in here. Just a little bit. And by the way, can I just say that that curl cream seems to work really nicely with this? Next up is the super volumizing foam. So a couple of pumps and I'll scrunch that in. I'm really gonna make sure that I'm kind of like scrunching that into like the top as well. Okay, and then as with all the sections, I'm also gonna take some of the gel and just apply that to the ends to make sure my ends are defined. So I'm really excited for how it's gonna turn out. I really hope that I get like the most volume that I've had in a really long time. The next thing I need to do is just make sure that I dry it in a way that's conducive to volume. So the way that I usually dry it is not gonna work. I usually leave it down like this or I plop, but like in a downward way. I've shown it in another video because I have really heavy hair. I don't know about you guys. My hair is pretty heavy and it pretty much just weighs down the top throughout the drying process. Obviously I don't want that this time. So I am actually gonna dry my hair upside down, which I never usually do. So the first step, I'm just gonna take this towel. So this towel is also by Buplan and it's like this jersey material. It's not like that typical kind of microfiber towel. It's a little bit like t-shirt plopping. So I'm just gonna take this down 
And first of all, I'm gonna scrunch my hair. Like scrunch, 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 scrunch. It's hopefully gonna add to the volume. When that's done, I'm gonna dry my hair upside down for like the first time in a million years. I'm gonna put this over my head, pull my hair on top of my head like this. If you've seen my definition routine, you can see how this is different to how I usually do it, because usually I have it sitting down here. I'm gonna leave my hair sitting like this for a little while, and then I will diffuse. Oh, I'm so excited for the results. This cross for me, I really want super voluminous hair. Hey guys, so I'm back and these are the final results of my super volumizing curly hair routine. It's so super volumized. I don't know what you guys think, but for me, this is so much more volume than I usually get. My hair just feels so thick. Like when I'm just like grabbing it like this, it just feels thick, you know? Okay, that's like the most voluminous my hair has looked in a long, long time. I really, really like that. And you know what the best thing is, is that it's actually really defined too. So it's like, it's got a ton of volume, but the curls are super defined still. So much definition. But you know, they're so lightweight. Like a lot of the time when I do my uh, curl defining routine, the curls are super defined. You can just feel how clumped together they are and they kind of feel a little bit like heavy because of that. Whereas with this, it's like the definition is there, but my hair feels like a cloud. There's no hardness to it. You know, it just feels so light. I need to chill like when I'm curling the front of my fringe with the curling iron because I did not cut this. I did not cut this fringe in. This I think is just, it's either like grown out baby hairs or it's just pure damage from where I'm always using a curling iron on my fringe just for the aesthetics. So I did not use a curling iron today. I actually just finger coiled this just a second ago with a little bit of water just to make those neat and tidy because those came out a little bit frizzy. But apart from that, wow! So this is all thanks to this little guy. So this is the Buclam Super Volumizing Foam. I definitely feel like my hair has been volumized. If I had some shorter layers, I'm sure I'd be able to get it to be like, like this. But all my layers are like, because I kind of was growing out my layers, so they're all kind of the same length right now. So over here, you can see my hair when I do the super definition method. And over here, you got me with this volumizing method. And I just hope you can see the difference. My hair just feels so thick. I can't believe it. Like, I just feel like I've got twice as much hair as I normally have. I'm used to my hair feeling a little bit more slick than this. So I have the Revive 5 hair oil. So I'm just gonna put a little splash of this on my hair. I think just a few pumps. And run this through my hair. Hopefully this oil can just keep my hair defined and shiny. Guys, I just can't believe how it's like voluminous and defined look at this definition i love that okay so i want to say a big thank you to buclan for sponsoring this video i've linked all of the products that i used down below make sure you check them out especially the super volumizing foam because i absolutely love my results with that i also have a discount code for you of course so that will be on screen right now and i've added it to the description box as well so make sure you don't miss out on that i hope you enjoyed this volumizing curly hair routine if you did please thumbs up also subscribe and turn on your notifications if you want to see more from me. Give me a comment, let me know what you want to see next. I am gonna put some of my other videos that I think you might like up here. Have an amazing rest of your day guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!